Flossmas, everyone. Uh, today is Tea Time Flossmas number 12. Because <laughs> 12? Um, today is Saturday, December 12th. So it's Saturday. So I'm filming this first thing in the morning. I haven't even had my cup of tea, my regular cup of English breakfast, super caffeinated tea that, you know, so we'll see how it goes. Today is another overcast day. Um, here in Southeast Texas. I think we had a front move in last night. I have a, I, ha, I woke up with a, with a headache and it's still there. So I'm just trying to plug through it. I took a allergy pill to see if that would help. And, um, I'm gonna drink my tea. And if it doesn't get any better, then I'm going to take some medicine. Uh, Cause even though it's December, I still have allergies. I probably should do more than just take a daily pill. Whatever. Um, oh, I didn't introduce myself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessie. Welcome to Bobo Stitching Quilt for everyone who's returning. Welcome back for everyone who's catching, who's finding me for the first time because you're just watching a bunch of Flossmas videos. Welcome. Let's have a good time today. Um, so I just finished making my tea. I'm in for Rocio from uh, Cocohama Stitchery, I have a little tea video for you at the end um, because it's Saturday and I have a little, I can do a little more vlogging type things on the weekend. So, uh, this, so even though I'm filming this first thing, um, in the morning, well, not first thing in the morning, it's not even, it's like 11, <laughs> yeah, but, um, it's probably won't post until later this evening when you'll see it, um, because I'm going to try to do some, well, some vlogging. So this may end up being a longer video overall um because i'll add those little tidbits um although my life is really boring so i don't really know like how any of that's really interesting today's tea is jasmine pearls exquisite pearls infused with the sublime aroma of delicate night blooming jasmine flowers i love a jasmine tea it is one of my favorite teas i don't drink it often enough but i do love it um, this one, um, when you'll see in the video, just has the little pearls in a tea bag, like, like a normal tea. But, um, I was very fortunate to spend a summer, like about eight weeks in China, um, uh, when I was in school and, um, and I would go places and they would have these beautiful tea balls that would bloom into these flowers. Um, and they were jasmine tea, you know, and it was just beautiful to, to watch happen and, you know, and you knew it was ready to, to drink after the steeping based on how the flower bloomed. Anyways, it was really pretty cool. And so I do like a jasmine tea. I don't drink it all the time. It is, um, I don't know why. I do have it. Like, I have it in stock in my house all the time, but I don't, I don't drink it. I'm always favoring the black teas, I guess. It smells exquisite. It smells like jasmine, as you would expect. It's a good tea. It's a good tea. Um, if you're in a market for a good jasmine, this probably is a, this is probably a good one. I probably will have to have my regular black cup of tea, um, after this because the green tea just doesn't have as much caffeine. Either I'll have a Coke. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to have my lunch. Brunch. Because I don't eat breakfast. All right. Um, what else is going on? Guess what, y'all? You're going to hear the crinkling. You're going to do it together with me. It arrives. This should be Christmas tree. You can see the little preview there from Nika Moscow, designed by Barbara Anna. So let's do an unboxing. That's my happy mail. It came in yesterday after I filmed my video. So I was like, oh no. And so there's going to be some crinkling, which I understand I need to apologize for. I'm going to let y'all know when I watch floss tube videos and people apologize for the crinkling, I always just think, why? It's not that bad. Like people aren't like, you know, they're not like, you know, like I'm not. It's so like, it's always kind of funny to me because I'm just like, you're, you're trying to open it up super quiet and, and it doesn't bother me. I guess it's like, to me, like crinkling noise is a happy noise. <laughs> Anyways, so sorry for the crinklings for those people who do, who, for that, where the noise does bother them. So, of course, it comes in the beautiful Nika um, tube. And there is the little card of a partial design of 
Christmas tree by Barbara Anna. Pop the cup. I promise I will not show you any of the patterns, so I'm going to pull everything out down here on my lap, so that way, you know, but first I have the floss card. As always, Nika always does the beautiful braids, and so look at that, those beautiful colors. Um, ready to go, and already pre-sorted at the top, so it looks beautiful. Let's see. She, because it is a full kit, it does come with the fabric, and, oh, it's all pinned together. It includes two needles. Here's this beautiful blue fabric. I'll have to, I don't, I don't, it's probably going to be in Russian, so I'll have to, to read it. It is a linen. It looks like it's a 28 count linen, um, but I'll figure out what the, the fabric and, and everything is and include that, but, so... But here we are. That's the fabric with the floss. Yeah, I think this is going to be beautiful. I can't wait to work on this. Um, let's see what I can discern from the pattern. Again, I'm not going to show it to you. So sorry, just watch me for a minute while I take a look-see. Um, as you would expect, it's a beautiful pattern, well designed, as you would expect from Barbara Anna. Um, so when I got the Tree of Magic, there was a third, so it comes on these giant two, whatever size these are, right? Um, and um, there was an inset in the Tree of Magic that was a detail. There's not one in this one. And this I can show you because it's all of the instructions in Russian. <laughs> And so, which I find hilarious, um, and, um, and I am, I'm going to actually one day sit down and like translate it because I feel like this is, you know, um, although I can read some of it, um, and because I know what to expect to read because it's back, it, it's cross stitching and I know the terminology and everything, I do expect that I'm going to um, have an idea, but, um, you know, it's, a uh, you know, I'll just have to figure it out. <laughs> so it'll be a fun, a weird nerdy project that I'll do. Anyways, um, let's see, is it on this card that says what the fabric is? I didn't see it anywhere that said what the fabric is, like what the actual, um, as I recall from the post, it was a Zweigart, and it is a linen. It does look like it's 28, um, and maybe a 32, but I think it's a 28. Um, but I'll, I'll go find the details, and I will post it um, in the show notes below. All right? Oh, so super excited about that. So I have two more projects remaining in this round of Flossmas, and that includes Christmas tree and um, Hello Dear. Uh I'm going to try and decide because I only have one more day. Today's the last day for um, winter carriage ride. So tomorrow I, I tomorrow is a new start. So I'll have to, I got Christmas tree. It looks beautiful. I really want to start it. Um, I think I might work on Christmas tree instead of hello dear. I think I was going to go hello dear then Christmas tree, but everyone has worked on Hello, dear. You've seen it. Um, not that you're not going to be interested in what I do, but you might not, you know. Um, but hello, dear. But the Christmas tree, people are just getting it, right? I think Aaron at Two Martini Stitcher was one of the first people I saw who got it. But otherwise, I haven't seen that many people who've actually already received it. So, um, all right. Okay. Last but not least, let's talk about some stitching. Today is my last day of working on Winter Carriage Ride. And so here's the picture in black and white. Um, by the way, let's go back to Christmas tree real quick. I'm not going to be able to show you what it's going to look like in its full completion because there isn't a photo. This is the only thing I have that is that is indicative of what the design is that when the complete picture when it's done. Um, Nika never posted one on Instagram for me to grab uh, like she did for Tree of Magic. So, you know, when I'm going, it's going to kind of be like this. 
<laughs> so you've been warned. Um, so it's not that I don't want to show it to you. I just don't, I just don't have the picture. So, um, so this is where I got to last night. I did not get that much progress then. I feel very, um, slow. So I did finish up the eaves, this little iceling leaves. I got one mitten done and then I started working on the, the other little bits in there just kind of tossing around here and forth. I was I don't know why I wasn't I was I did stitch about two hours um but not like actually it was probably more like three hours total time when I think about what we did while I was stitching and um I just wasn't I I, I was paying attention to what we were watching too so um Friday nights is our sci-fi night so we always catch up on Star Trek Discovery because that episode comes out on Thursdays on CBS All Access and on Fridays, we watch The Mandalorian, too, because that comes out on Fridays on Disney+. Plus. And so we catch up on those two episodes, um, and usually I pay attention to what's happening because there's a lot of stuff happening in those shows, and so um, I kind of stitch in between interesting bits. And then we watched The Prom last night that premiered on Netflix yesterday, and uh, based on the Broadway musical about a young lady who just is who's a lesbian who just wants to go to prom <laughs> so um and then all the things that kind of ensue from bigotry and a misunderstanding but it's super sweet story um and hilarity ensues as broadway stars try to solve problems for their you know for whatever reasons that they have and um but it does have a good happy ending at the end um if i'm going to be critical about anything james corden plays a gay character in the movie. He is not gay, and I feel like there's plenty of really um, talented gay actors who sing that could have taken on the role, and this is not a slight against James Corden in any way because I like James Corden. Like, I think he's funny, and I think he's very talented, and it's not saying, and this is not a commentary about his performance in it at all, but... Um, I feel like in this day and age, because it was directed by Ryan Murphy, that it's like, mm, Ryan, you know better. You can do better on that. It, you know, um, I don't know if I feel like how I feel like if there wasn't someone who was available, like how I would feel about that. Um, but that's not the reality. There's There really are a lot of really talented actors that are, you know, and, and even if it was going to be someone a little bit less named. I mean, James Corden, I don't know if he's a household name. Um... But even if they may have been lesser of a name, I mean, Meryl Streep's in it, Nicole Kidman's in it, they probably could have gone with a lesser name and still been fine, right? So, um, but that being said, I really enjoyed it. This is not a commentary about James Corden's performance at all. He did a good job. Everyone did a good job. It's really fun. It is worth watching. Don't let this criticism affect you from watching it because it did make you feel really good at the end um of the story so with that i'm going to go ahead drink up some more tea hopefully lose a headache work on winter carriage ride my goal is to finish that top part of the banner <laughs> with the way yesterday went maybe this is all i'm gonna get done today but um but in realities I th it's a two-page pattern top half and a bottom half and um and pretty much what you see where the tree where the um house line at the bottom begins that's the very bottom uh, that is the bottom of the first page so let's see if I can finish a page if I can finish a page I think that's solid so um I got all day we don't have any plans we're going to just literally sit on the couch do some stuff I may do a couple of household errand um, errand like errand, chores but like let's be real like, y'all I'm not clean I'm not messing but like I see these beautiful houses that are so like well put together and stuff like that and I to me I'm just kind of like you know as long as the house isn't like dirty and <laughs> you know I mean we clean like we sweep we vacuum we do laundry we do the dishes like like we're not like we're not messy people you know like like we're not dirty people but you know um, that I may be slightly notorious to have like flat surfaces may have stacks of things on top of it like like y'all can't see this like right here because I film my videos in the bedroom like I have a whole stack of like cross stitching related stuff in here you know my cart's back there like it's just like there's just a stack over here <laughs> it's 
fine. I know what's in there. I know what, what's, what I'm trying to find. So, um, eventually I'll start recording in my craft room and everything. But, anyways, I'll probably do some chores today. Alright. I'll talk to everyone er later on. I hope everyone had or will have or is having a fantastic weekend. I'm going to try to catch up on regular floss tube videos because I realize that I've been watching a lot of Flossmas videos trying to support everyone who has been doing this because even though they're short, they're, these are not, I mean, we're making videos every day and you still have to do mild editing, upload them, you know, so it's, um, so I've been trying to support everyone who's been doing this. I have been very behind on my regular floss tube videos and I was just like, the other day I realized I had some people I subscribed to that I haven't seen like two or three videos because they record weekly and I was like, ah, so I'm going to try to catch up on some floss tube videos. All right. Talk to everyone later. Bye-bye.